Hey what's up this is Alex from Motionland with a quick overview of the A Viewer. So A Viewer is a media browser that will save you tons of time working on your projects. With A Viewer you can browse, preview and apply your projects, fonts, presets and media files in one or two clicks. It supports the following formats. After Effects projects, Photoshop and Illustrator files, fonts, video and audio files and the following codecs for video files. You can install a viewer using a scripts installer that is available here. So let's start from the navigation. It works like in any file browser where you can go back and forward between the folders. With folder icon you can quickly jump to desired folder or you can type the path and click enter. To add preview to a folder perform right click of the mouse on the folder, choose select preview and select any PNG file that is less than 3 MB. If you will click Folders button, you will open an additional panel with Tree Navigation and Tabs, Collections and Favorites. You can also switch between the folders quickly by clicking and holding the Folder button and moving the mouse on the desired folder. You can search your files by typing the file name here. And you can change the grid size with the slider or buttons below. Preview AP files. Now we can preview files before opening them. So for example, I have a folder with AP files and if I will need to add a preview to my AP files, all I have to do is just right click of the mouse on AP file and select create preview. Then your project will be opened and you will have to select your composition that will be used for preview. Set the current time indicator for the static preview and select start and end of the composition for the preview. And click next. It will save your project and click render. After the preview has been rendered, After Effects will automatically close the opened project and all you have to do is just to click a refresh button to get a preview. A viewer has a handy feature that allows you to preview all animations of AP, preset files and other previews simultaneously by clicking on the play all button. There are a few ways to operate with AP files. For example, if you will right click, you can choose between import and open, import and add and open only. The difference is that import and open will import the project and open the default composition. Import and add will import the project and uh, add all layers from the default composition to your active composition and open only will just open your project. If you will perform double left click, it will import and add the layers from the default composition to your current composition, but you can change the double click behavior under the settings menu. You can open folder with your font files and apply selected font with double click to your text layer. If that font is not installed in your system, with double click it will be automatically installed to your system and applied to a text layer. You can also customize the preview of the font under the settings menu. You can preview your Photoshop and Illustrator files and add them to the timeline with double click. The preview loading speed is depending on the image size. You don't need to create a preview for Photoshop or Illustrator files since a viewer will extract the previews directly from files. Playing videos. All your videos will be played if you will hover a mouse on them. And here is the list of the supported media files and codecs. Also we plan to expand that range in near future. And again, you can add the video to the timeline with double click. Previewing music is pretty much the same way as the video. You just hover on the track and it plays. Scripts. Scripts tab includes the scripts that are came with a viewer or scripts that are included under the script UI panels of the After Effects. And you can also launch JSX and JSX being scripts from the browser. And add a preview to the script file by putting the GIF file with the same name as your script under the same folder. With AViewer, you can preview and apply After Effects preset files. 
To add a preview to your FFX file, simply create and copy a GIF file with the same name as your FFX file under the same folder. You can add your files to the favorites by clicking on the star button and open collections by clicking on the star button at the top right. Or you can add your folders to the favorites that is located under the folders menu. And you can rename those favorite folders as well. Collections. You can create or delete collections under the folders menu, rearrange them, and to add any file to your collection, just click and drag the file to your collection. Collection step doesn't duplicate the file and it uh, stores only the link to the file. And that's it. That was a quick overview of the A viewer, and I'll see you in the next tutorials.